Hello friends, it's good to have you with us today. This is Steve McLean. He's a really good friend and brother in the Lord. And I've known Stephen for a good number of years and had the privilege of fellowshipping with him in Coleraine Free Presbyterian Church, uh, where Stephen is an elder. He's also a lecturer in Coleraine University. And I uh, just thought I'd ask Stephen, we're at a wedding together today, and I just thought I'd ask Stephen to tell us uh, how he became a Christian. So Stephen, it's over to you, and thanks for doing this at short notice. Thanks very much, Roger. It's always a, a privilege and a pleasure to give a word of testimony and to let people know how I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Saviour. I had the privilege of being born into a Christian home, a very good home. My parents were saved and they knew the Lord as their Saviour and sought to live for him and to walk for him. And the rest of the family too, many of my aunts, uncles, cousins were all saved and I suppose by the time I was 10 or 11, all my aunts and uncles had come to know Christ as Saviour. So I grew up in a family that had a very strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I was brought along to Sunday school, to church, to children's meetings and different things. And I heard of my need to be saved. The Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And those verses and other verses would have been very familiar to me. And I remember one time I was visiting my grandmother's house and a friend of hers had passed away and the conversation that day was around the fact that this man had now gone to heaven to be with the Lord. Now I was only five years old at this point and I remember walking down the stairs in my grandmother's house and just at that moment in time all these things that I had heard, all these things I had been brought up in in the gospel, it was as though the penny dropped, the light came on and I realised this was something that I had to respond to that I personally had to come and put my faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, the Bible tells us, all the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. And that evening, whenever I went back home, um, my father was putting me to bed at night, and I just simply asked him, how can I be saved? How can I have my sins taken away? And he very simply pointed me to the Lord Jesus Christ. And just in the words of that little a hymn that we often sing, into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And I prayed that prayer and I went to sleep that night. And the next day I woke up, I began to tell others, even at that young age, of how I had come to know the Lord as my saviour. And you know, as I went up through school, I'm very grateful and thankful uh, that the Lord had given me good company, good Christian friends. And perhaps as a young person you're listening on today, I would encourage you to always seek out good company and those who are of like precious faith to support you and help you in your Christian life. And that was something that was really important in my life. And I thank the Lord that he kept his hand upon me. I had good Christian friends in primary school and secondary school and even into university as well. Uh, it was a great time to be able to meet with others and do outreach and do different aspects of God's work and to seek to live and to work for him. And really anything that's in my life that I have done or achieved, it's all been through the grace and the help of God. And you know, perhaps you're like many young people, uh, if, if you're listening today, you're a young person, maybe you've received your GCSE results or your A-level results or something like that, and you're making decisions in life. You know, the Word of God says, trust in that, uh, the Word of God tells us to Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Put your faith and trust in him. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And the Bible also tells us in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So seek out what the Lord's will is for your life. Seek that good company. Seek the Lord first and seek to follow him in all that you do. And I'm glad I have a testimony to give. And it's great to have been involved in the work of God in Coleraine. And even there too, the Lord led, I believe, and guided me to that place. Um, and in the process of time, met my wife. And we now have settled there with our, our family and seeking to serve God. And I would encourage you to seek out the will of God, to do a work for the Lord, uh, because that is the best life. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. 
Thank you so much, Stephen. Um, Stephen's an elder, as we say, in the Free Presbyterian Church in Coleraine, uh, very dear to our hearts. And you'd be very, very welcome there. Lord's Day, 11.30 in the morning, 6.30 in the evening. If you live in the locality or you're coming even to study in the Coleraine area at the university, you'd be most welcome at any of the church services. And then the Reverend Samuel Workman was a famous evangelist, greatly used of God. And he was your uncle, Stephen, isn't that right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Sam was married to my dad's sister, isn't it? Yeah. So again, that was, again, a great thing growing up to have Sam's influence upon my life yeah. as well and upon the life of her family. And it was always great to hear how the Lord was using him in the salvation of precious souls. Yeah, so some of you have heard, I'm sure, the preaching of the Reverend Workman, great man of God. And Stephen, you're looking well. You're looking very Trump-esque with the <laughs> navy and the red tie. So... Uh, God bless you, brother, and thanks for doing this. And friends, if you're in the Coleraine area, uh, call in and see the people in the church. Great people, you'll be very, very welcome. So thanks for listening, folks, and we'll see you again next time. God willing, bye-bye.